it's going to be very difficult for the dental technician or even for yourself if you're designing these restorations in office chair side it's going to be hard for your design software to know how high to build the restoration if some aspect of the opposing dentition is missing so for the opposing you can see here on the lower i scanned again from the last tooth to at least the canine on the mesial side we want to try to establish the same number of teeth on the opposing. So you can see I have number six scanned in here all the way back to number two. So if we just analyze the opposing, the upper model here, we want to ensure that most of the occlusal and the buccal and lingual surfaces of the opposing model are captured. It's going to be very difficult for the dental technician or even for yourself if you're designing these restorations in office chair side. It's going to be hard for your design software to know how high to build the restoration if some aspect of the opposing dentition is missing. So once you analyze that information, many of the scanners today have some additional features. So in this case, the iteral element has an occlusal clearance function. So when I activate that occlusal clearance function, we can see some areas on the right here or this area here that has a color map it will reveal on the preparation how close it is or how far away from the opposing that prep is. Most of the materials that we use today, whether through the lab or chair side, like the lithium silicate glass ceramics, even with Bruxer restorations, one and a half millimeters is what we're shooting for to allow for adequate strength and also for the technician or the design software to create occlusal anatomy that conforms well to the patient's dentition. So it will give you more natural looking uh, anatomy on your restorations. So that's how you want to analyze your models. It's not just a matter of going through the sequence, positioning, of course, all of that is important, the fundamentals of keeping things dry, but analyzing the model is going to be an important aspect of using your digital impression system to ensure that you're getting the most accurate representation of your patient's dentition.